It's the good, the bad, and the ugly on a busy earnings day for the financial sector. First, the good, Wells Fargo. It posted a quarterly profit of more than $3.5 billion. The company says it's lending out more money to businesses and drawing down its loan loss reserves. The bad is Goldman Sachs, which disappointed with only $1.1 billion in profit. The trouble is in its trading of currencies, commodities, and bonds. That unit, once one of its biggest money makers, has seen declines in six straight quarters. Goldman shares are trading at a 52-week low. They're down almost 25 percent year-to-date. Bank of America shares hit a two-year low Monday and were under pressure again Tuesday, and their earnings are ugly. The $8.8 billion quarterly loss is the largest in its history. The A is still trying to get out from under the fallout from the housing crisis. The bank is also facing margin pressures from lower interest rates and doesn't foresee being able to raise its dividend anytime soon. That's not making the stock very attractive to investors, hence the two-year low. For CNN Money, I'm Allison Kosick at the New York Stock Exchange.